Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing some small details to the uh, 70 Chevy truck. Um, I've got an emblem for the front. Probably be going to be doing something um, with the antenna. And then I've got um, some interior pieces that we're going to do. So uh, maybe something else I'm forgetting but just going to do a few little things on this video today, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, so here's the little emblem that I'm going to be installing on the, the hood of the truck. And this is a, a I believe, 6970. Uh, this is something that would have come on the truck. Um, it goes on the, the hood like that. Um, so... Yeah, this is held in place with, uh, there's two studs back here. You can see those. Uh, they got little nuts um, that go behind it and hold it. Um, obviously, um, I don't have no holes there because there's no emblem there. This truck um, apparently never had it, or this hood never had it. So I made up a little pattern and um, copied uh, where the studs were out of some heavier uh, paper and I, I put it up there I've got I marked the center of this lined it up with the center of the hood and I've marked my spots and from what I've seen looking at the trucks this is a little lower it's not centered on the hood it's a little lower than centered so um, that's that's where I put it there that's where it's going um, so yeah, uh, I've center punched my holes now. I'm getting ready to, to drill them out. And I know, um, a lot of people just want to take the drill size that you need and they're just going to want to drill it out in one, in one drill. Don't do that guys. Start with a smaller bit, drill it out, um, drill your center punch out with a smaller drill bit and work your way up. Um, I know you gotta drill more than once, but uh, you're gonna have a much more accurate hole. If you start with a smaller bit, drill it out, and then uh, then go to the size you need. A little uh, quick tip for the, for the day. Okay, so I got my holes drilled. Um, I've got an assembly manual that says um, uh, 1564. Yeah, 1564 hole, which is just before a uh, quarter inch. It's an odd size hole, but that's what it says to do. And it's it's bigger than what you need. You're gonna have some. You'll have a little room here. But anyway, there it is. Um, kind of gonna look like that. I think I got it. Uh, I think I got it where it needs to be. So I gotta put the nuts on the back side now. Okay, so they send um, new nuts to install this, and these are—I I forget what they call these nuts again. There's an official name for them, but they go on the stud on the back side because this this emblem is brand new, never been used. It don't have any threads in it, so this is actually going to go in there and it's going to, it'll cut um, new threads. But yeah, they send, surprisingly, they send new nuts. A lot of times they won't send uh, nuts and stuff with these emblems, but 
that's how this is going to be attached. So I've got to uh, get this hood open. I believe. Okay, so in order to get to those nuts uh, back there, I believe you got to take this piece off right here. It'll give you a little bigger hole, I think, to work with. Um, hopefully anyway. Uh, there is a hole right here and you can get to that. You can see my finger there. You can get to that one pretty easily. Uh, but this one here is going to be a lot more difficult because you got to get a wrench or something up in there to be able to tighten that. So I think I got to take this off and then we can finally get this thing bolted up. I'm going to put a little touch up paint on uh, these, these uh, holes I just drilled. Not a real big deal. This truck isn't uh, pristine or anything, but actually this hood is, seems like it's pretty good shape. Okay, so you do get quite a bit more access uh, when you take this piece off here. Not a lot more. Uh, if you got huge, huge hands, um, you know, you might struggle with this. This is still gonna be fun because it's really um, not that easy. You can see it, there's one of the holes there, so. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get this on. Okay, so my tool of choice was a uh, quarter inch uh, ratchet, long extension, got a universal, and then that uh, nut takes a three eighths uh, a socket. And there we go. Okay, so there should be not too difficult of a job to <clears throat> to add that. Um, I like it. I may have to go in here and change uh, this blue to something else. I'll just take some uh, some wrap, vinyl wrap, go in there and, and uh, change that because I'm not sure I'm digging that blue. Um, I mean, that's that's the way they would have been. I mean, that's that's what this truck would have had if it would have had that emblem. But I'm going to leave it for now. And we'll see if it grows on me. If it doesn't, like I said, piece of vinyl, um, I could change it to any color I want. But I love that. I love that bow tie up there. The, I believe the higher end uh, trucks would have got this, which... Um, Kind of brings me to my next uh, thing. I guess I've already done it. But I uh, remember I told you my truck was having a, an identity crisis kind of. Where it has the CST-10 on one side. And then it had the, the C-10 on the other side. Well, it no longer... It no longer uh, doesn't know what it is, so it's now a CST-10 instead of a C-10. So, and this actually brings me to my next my next little project. You can see I've been playing around with this emblem. I've uh, blacked out behind the 350 and uh, the 8. And I'm going to do that next here. I'm going to do the other side. I was kind of playing with it. And you can see how this side is. So that's what I'm doing next. Okay, so the first thing I've done, you can see I've outlined uh, this emblem. It's not real critical that you get it perfect, but the better you get it here, the easier it is when you pull it off. Um, you can clean it up once you pull it off, but just try to try to get it as close as you can. So I took a like a small screwdriver and kind of cleaned up all these grooves in here uh, a little bit. I'm going to take the air gun and, and blow it out the best I can. Um, not too worried. This is not uh, a million dollar restoration or anything. So I'm just just trying to make these emblems pop a little more. Because um, they're kind of dull. So I'm going to get my air gun, blow this out real good. Um, there's really no way to get in there and scuff that. That would be the ideal thing. 
problem is when you do that you you're gonna you're gonna scuff these uh, 350 which you want to stay shiny so Okay, so I just blowed this off. Um, I, I just reused the same piece of masking paper that I used on the other side. That just saved me a bunch of time having to uh, tape all this stuff up and make a, make a pattern. It really saved me a lot of time actually. The painting a lot of times, or most of the time, is spent with all your prep work and your masking. So when you could do something like that, it saves yourself a lot of time. So I got it clean, got to blow it off the best I can. Uh, I just got some black here that I had uh, laying around. This is the Rust-Oleum uh, hard hat stuff that I like to use. It's just, uh, I think they call this the semi-gloss black. But I'm just going to spray this now. Not going to get too wild with it because you don't want it running. So now, um, you want to do this as soon as possible. I've got some lacquer thinner on a rag, and I'm just going to wipe off the face of the, the 350. And you're trying to do just the face of the 350 because you want the paint left everywhere else. And I'm going to do a couple more coats so it's not too critical um, that you get this perfect. If you do rub off some, some paint other than on the 350, um, you'll have a chance to, to touch it up here. And like I said, you want to do this when it's wet. It's kind of the worst time to do it because you can really mess it up and you got to watch out your rag isn't too fuzzy because you can get fuzz all in the new paint. Um, but the easiest time to wipe it off is when it's um, freshly sprayed on there and you want a wet, you want this saturated. You don't want this to dry. If it starts drying, and get it wet again and uh, start wiping again because then if you try to do this with a dry rag again you're going to have like lint and stuff getting all in your your paint and that is not what you want so we're just going to follow the paint uh, manufacturer's recommendations on when you recoat that which is just I'm just going to let this uh, kind of flash off and I'm going to recoat it I'm going to wipe off the 350 again, I'm going to let it dry again, and I'll recoat it, and then I'll wipe it off again. And then I'll be able to pull the, the, the paper off and we'll see what I got. Okay, so after uh, I've done like three coats, I'm going to pull my tape off here. And you're going to see I've got a little bit of bleed through right here. And I'm just going to take again uh, lacquer thinner on my rag and I'm just going to clean this edge up so it's uh, really nice and then we'll, we'll go out to that eight. Okay, so I went around and cleaned up all the edges. I got a nice crisp line there now. So I'm going to go out to the 8 now. And the 8, all I did was I got some black touch-up paint from the auto parts store. I actually have a bunch of it because a lot of my trucks have been black. And I'm just going in there and I'm just uh, painting inside the 8 there. 
Uh, same thing, I'm gonna take a little screwdriver and kind of clean it up in there best I can. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paint it, paint in there and then like, like just like I did here, uh, if I get some outside, I'm just gonna take my lacquer thinner, I'm gonna clean it up, make nice crisp lines. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got once I'm done here. Okay, so I've got the eight uh, painted in the black and what a difference a little bit of paint makes, huh? I mean that just made that 350 just pop. Now you could you could uh, do an accent color. I mean you could uh, put a color match kind of with the center color or use the outer color or use uh, an accent bright color. I actually thought about uh, going with the dark blue to kind of tie in some of that um, the new emblem there. Um, thought about maybe going red, white, and blue. Um, you know, as it, it have it uh, red, white, and blue um, for each different letter there. But I thought maybe that might be too much. You could do whatever you want. You can play with this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, not bad for a little bit of a uh, little bit of black paint. I like it. Okay, so the next little thing I did was I replaced the antenna. And actually this antenna, I found it. Um, it was in the back of the shop and it's, um, I don't know, what it, it come off another truck maybe or something, I don't know. Um, it's not the right one for this truck. It don't even have the right, um, the, the right connector in there for the, for the antenna, but I kind of plugged it in and, and then taped it up. But this one here, I mean, it's, it's bad. It was just flopping around. Um, you can see it's got a deal and you can see I had to bend it a little bit to even get it out. But it, it fought. Now these things here are really odd. You, you unscrew this and that's how um, you take it off. You take all this stuff, like this, Once you get that loosened up, you, you turn this sideways, this piece right here, you turn that sideways and you can get it down in the hole. Once it's down on the hole, you turn this like this and then you put all your stuff on there, your trim and your, your other thing. You put it down there and then you tighten this back up. And then that's how your antenna is held in place. And this is this is in the wide position, and it grabs a hold of the the metal, and yeah, that's how it's supposed to work when it is working. Um, I will eventually get the right one, but for now, that one is working just fine, and it's got the little spring on there. I think it kind of matches, uh, again, uh, kind of '70s style. So that wasn't too bad. This thing, like I said, fought a little bit and then you got to figure out how it unscrews and stuff. But once I figured out that top piece unscrewed, um, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so my final little upgrade today is I got some uh, new door poles. Um, you can see there's a, they're a little dusty because I was out driving, but um, they're real easy to replace. There's just two, uh, uh, well, they're like, they're like bolts, but they got Phillips head screws in there. So real easy to replace. You just unscrew them, um, put them back. Um, that door panel could use a little work, maybe a little paint. Probably just get um, new ones eventually uh, whenever I get to uh, probably doing the, maybe after the paint work sometime. But these are fine. I don't mind them at all. Don't mind the dog slobber on it dog slobbers on everything but yeah new new door poles so I already put the new handles in there so yeah the door panel is looking looking decent okay guys so that's gonna do it for today hopefully uh, you enjoyed all the little the little projects on the 1970 truck here I'll see you